So in this video, we want to use implicit differentiation to find the locations of horizontal and vertical tangent lines for a relation. So it says determine the locations. So in a Cartesian plane, that's going to be ordered pairs. Determine the locations of the vertical and horizontal tangent lines for the function. That's, that's a lie. This is a relation. It's not a function because it's not passing the vertical line test. So the relation is 4x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y equals negative 4. I've gone ahead and graphed the relation in GeoGebra so you can see it's a vertically oriented ellipse. And what we need to understand for vertical and horizontal tangent lines is two things. One, if the tangent lines, so it looks like right about here and here, it looks like we have vertical tangent lines to the ellipse. Anytime you have a vertical tangent line, the slope of a vertical line is undefined. So we're looking for places where the tangent line slopes are undefined. And we want to remember that the derivative, y prime, gives us the slopes of the tangent line. So to find the locations of vertical tangent lines, we're looking for places where the derivative is undefined, and it's going to be undefined if there's a division by zero in the denominator of the derivative. And horizontal tangent lines, there's one here and here, those are going to occur when the derivative is equal to zero. And for derivative to equal zero, the numerator of the derivative will need to equal zero. And Another nice reason for having the graph is just so we can see where the locations are. So th there's a horizontal tangent line here, and it looks like that's at input one, output zero. There's a horizontal tangent line here, which is at input one, output negative four. So those should be the locations. They need to, locations need to be ordered pairs of the horizontal tangent lines, and the verticals look like they occur here and here, and that's going to be, this place is going to be input zero, output negative two, and here's going to be input two, output negative two. So having a graph of it ahead of time helps us to have an answer key for the problem. So vertical and horizontal tangent lines are going to occur when the slope is zero or undefined, so I need to find y prime the derivative because the derivative tells me the slopes of the tangent lines. So you start off with the relation that you have, the 4x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y equaling negative 4. And to get the equation of the tangent line, or the derivative, sorry, we need to calculate d dx of both sides. So if we take the derivative of the left-hand side, we're going to get the derivative of 4x squared is 8x plus the derivative of y squared by implicit differentiation is going to be 2 times y times y is inside the squaring function, so we have to apply the chain rule. So it's going to be twice y times y prime, the derivative of y, the function that's inside the squaring function. The derivative of minus 8x is just minus 8. And the derivative of plus 4y, this is a constant multiple of y. So the derivative of y, so plus the constant multiple, the derivative of y is y prime. And on the right-hand side, I have the derivative of a constant is 0. And now to uh, find the derivative, we get everything that doesn't have y prime in it on the right-hand side. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides and subtract 8x from both sides. And then on the left-hand side, I want everything that has a y prime, but I'm going to factor the y prime off. So I'm going to get y prime times, factoring y prime off of 2y will leave 2y behind, and factoring y prime off of 4 will leave 4. And then to find the derivative y prime, we just divide both sides by 2y plus 4. So we get 8 minus 8x over 2y plus 4. And we could notice there's um, that, that the numerator and denominator could be 
factored because there are common factors in both the numerator and the denominator. So that would be a step that we could take as well. Okay, so now I know what the derivative is. I know that the horizontal tangent lines will happen. Horizontal lines happen when the slope is equal to zero. So if I'm looking for the locations of the horizontal tangent lines, I'm looking for places where the slope is equal to zero. If the slope is equal to zero, the derivative is equal to zero because the derivative describes the slopes of the tangent lines. And the only way for y prime to equal zero is if the numerator is equal to zero. We need zero divided by stuff equals zero. So we look at this and we say, hey, when does, when does eight minus eight x equal zero? When does eight equal eight x? We add eight x to both sides, divide both sides by eight, we get one equals x. And if we look up at the picture, we see that corresponds to where we think the locations are. So that's kind of a check on the work. And now to get the locations, we need to take x equal to 1 and plug that into the original ellipse equa equation. So we're going to plug it into the equation 4x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y equals negative 4. So if we plug 1 in for x, we're going to get 4 plus y squared minus 8 times 1 is just 8 plus 4 times y equals the negative 4. That's plugging 1 in everywhere we see an x. And then we, uh, we're going to need to solve this for y to find the y, the y values that go with the x values. <clears throat> So it looks like if I add 4 to both sides, I'm going to get 4 plus y squared minus 8 plus 4y plus 4, getting the second degree polynomial equal to 0. 4 minus 8 plus 4 is 0, so I'm left with y squared plus 4y equals 0. And we want to recognize this is a quadratic equation in y. So one way to try to solve it is to factor. If we factor, we're going to get y times y plus 4 equals 0. And by the zero product property, either y is going to equal 0 or y plus 4 equals 0, which means y is going to be equal to negative 4. So our locations are going to be, here's our x coordinate. So the horizontal tangent line will occur when x equals 1 and y equals 0 and when x equals 1 and y equals negative 4 from right here. And then we look up at the, at the graph and we see that that checks with the work that we already have. So now I can go hunting for the vertical tangent lines. So vertical. And the vertical will happen when y prime, the derivative is undefined because when we have slopes of vertical lines, they are undefined. So I want to know when is the derivative, which describes the tangent line slopes, when is the derivative undefined? Y prime undefined is what we need. And the way that you get the derivative to be undefined is you have the denominator of it equaling zero. You get division by zero in the denominator, you have an undefined derivative. So we want to know when does 2y plus 4 equals 0. When do we get division by 0 in the denominator? And that happens when 2y equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 2. That happens when y equals negative 2. I look at the graph and it looks like that is checking out with the graphical evidence. To find the locations, which are ordered pairs, I need to get the x-coordinates. So again, I go back to the original relation for x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y equals negative 4. And now everywhere I see a y, plug in the negative 2. So I get 4x squared plus negative 2 squared minus 8x plus 4 times y, but y is negative 2 equaling negative 4. And we just start simplifying. So 4x squared, negative 2 squared is going to be plus 4 minus 8x. 4 times minus 2, or negative 2, is minus 8. Add 4 to both sides, 
So add four here, add four here, that will get us equal to zero. And we'll have four minus eight plus four is zero. We're left with four x squared minus eight x, a quadratic equation in x. And it looks like we can solve this just by factoring. So we factor the four x times x minus two equals zero. Now I can use the zero product property, either four x equals zero or x minus two equals zero. So either x equals two or x equals zero. So our ordered pairs, the locations of the vertical tangent lines are going to be x is zero and y is negative two. The other location is x is two and y is negative two. And then we look up at the graph and we make sure that that checks out with the graphical evidence, which it does. So there is how we use the derivative to find the locations of the horizontal and vertical tangent lines of the relation.